Hello and welcome back dear students as you all know in the previous e session we were discussing framing questions well you have understood what framing questions are and you have also realized how to frame questions as far as the yes or no questions are so let us have a recapitulation question forms that we were discussing in the previous session and we have discussed yes or no questions both in terms of positive interrogative sentences and negative interrogative sentences and today we need to discuss the remaining two question forms that is wh question forms and question tags let us begin with wh question forms the table goes as this type that is wh word wh word that is first one who usage who is used in order to enquire or inquire about a person or people if the person or people in <coughs> subject form so let us go with the example who is walking in the park so the answer is always a person or people so in the affirmative sentence if this question is answered the answer is always a subject so please make note who is used with person or people in order to enquire whether <coughs> the person or people and it is always considered to be a subject wh word the next one is whom even this is used with person or people but one change is the answer is an object whom did you give the book the answer is i gave the book to to dash so the answer is an object not subject so who when you ask the subject is an answer whom when you ask a question object is an answer i hope you have understood who and whom the next one is whose even this is used to ask or enquire about the person or people but the usage is to ask the ownership to ask the ownership example here whose class is at 11 am so the answer is so and so's class for example neel sir's class is at 11 am so neel's apostrophe s so it shows the ownership so whose is used when the ownership has to be told why is the next wh word it is used to mention the reason it to enquire the reason so why do we work the reason is to maintain our livelihood so the reason is sought when you use why the next one is what what is used to seek information example what is your father my father is a policeman my father is a doctor so these can be answers so whenever an information has to be enquired or inquired what is used what is your name 
these are the examples so let's go with the next one when is the next word its usage is to ask about the time when will the train arrive so the time is mentioned when you speak about when the next word is which and it is used to enquire choice which bike is yours so whenever which is used there are multiple things and we speak about choice we get or we seek information about choice when we use which the next word is where where is used to enquire about place where is the taj mahal the answer is a place here the taj mahal is in agra so where is used to mention about the uh, to enquire about the place the next word is how how many so how is always used with uh, to be considered as one of the members of wh family this is an exception so how usually you might have found how are you is to enquire about the state of a person but there are few others that go with how the first one here is how many it is to enquire how many is used to enquire about quantity that is countable quantity how many pens do you have so when you say how many when you use how many in a question the answer is always a countable noun 10 pens 5 pens etc the next word is how long it is to enquire about duration example is how long will the supplies last so duration in order to ask seek the information about duration one has to use how long the next word is the next phrase in fact is how far this is to enquire the distance example how far is bangalore from hubli so the distance when we need to mention uh, when we need to enquire about we need to use how far the next phrase is how much usage is as how many is usage is that is quantity but here how much is used with uncountable nouns to in order to seek information about uncountable nouns so how much water do you drink a day when it comes to quantity uncountable it can be measured but it cannot be counted i drink two waters a day is incorrect so how much is used with uncountable noun uncountable that can be measured for example i drink 1 liter water 2 liters of water etc so how much water do you drink a day the next word is the next phrase is how old usage is to seek information about age how old are you how old is this mansion etc and finally how often this is to use uh, uh, this is to enquire about the frequency frequency the the number of times or how often is used to seek the information about frequency that is nothing but how many times so how often do you meet once in a day twice a day etc so i hope you have understood wh questions all together there are one that is who whom whose why what when which where how how many how long how far 
how much how old how often so all put together there are 15 words here please keep in mind moving further question tags so what are question tags here let us know the rules of question tags we need to understand in order to frame an assertive sentence into interrogative sentence we need to take assertive sentence and remove full stop and instead place comma after the sentence first rule rule number second find the verb if you do not find the verb that is auxiliary verb please use a suitable one the third one find the pronoun if not found use an appropriate pronoun by replacing it with the noun that is mentioned positive sentences take negative question tags and vice versa if the if the assertive sentence is in positive frame of mind then it is uh, its question tag will be negative and vice versa and finally place a question mark so these are more of a conformational questions that we need to understand as the question tags type and examples are mentioned here the first one here is positive sentences in which i am a studious boy is an assertive sentence how does it change to a question tag i am a studious boy aren't i second sentence is is the the auxiliary verb suresh is visiting the doctor isn't he so a very simple process here i am a student uh, i am a studious boy full stop he is an assertive sentence the changes are as follows first change is remove full stop and place a comma second very simple rule is find an auxiliary verb so what is an auxiliary verb helping verb here am is an auxiliary verb am take am and place it and change the third one is find a pronoun pronoun is also found here i fourth very simple process is if am is positive it changes to negative please note that am changes to aren't not ain't or any other word i am a studious boy comma change am to aren't then take the pronoun and place it after aren't and the final rule is place question mark so this is very simple process please remember the five rules that i have mentioned here the third one the fruits are rotten the fruits are rotten aren't they please note here i have italicized and underlined the words the auxiliary verbs that i was talking about the weather was pleasant the weather was pleasant wasn't it the next one the children were playing in the garden the children were playing in the garden weren't they i have completed my assignment i have completed my assignment haven't i she has been working hard for a living she has been working hard for a living hasn't she they had already spoken to the teacher they had already spoken to the teacher hadn't they she will top the college this year won't she nisha would play the guitar in the concert wouldn't she 
we can win the war of peace can't we nitin could have played if he was allowed to couldn't he i shall go to the temple today shan't i so these are the changes to be found here these are the positive sentences and all the tags are negative here am changes to aren't is changes to isn't are changes to aren't was changes to wasn't were changes to weren't have changes to haven't has changes to hasn't had changes to hadn't will changes to won't would changes to wouldn't can changes to can't could changes to couldn't shall changes to shan't the remaining ones are these people should learn to behave in public shouldn't they i may spill the coffee mayn't i please make note students mayn't is one such tag or a word or an auxiliary which is not in usage in the modern english this word is considered to be an archaic term archaic very old term 18th century it lasted till 18th century after that one couldn't find the usage of meant as often as the other words are used let's move further i might submit the assignment by tomorrow i might submit the assignment by tomorrow mightn't i they attend the yoga classes regularly don't they attend you do not find auxiliary verb here they attend direct verb main verb is there so whenever you you come across such sentences please make note that attend goes with a particular auxiliary so frame an auxiliary verb here so depending upon the type of verb change it here it is the don't form of uh, the do form sorry the do form of verb here attend so change that into don't they attend the yoga classes regularly don't they he trains trains here is does form of verb so does he trains his students well doesn't he we completed the prose part last week completed here is did form so didn't we and finally they must follow the rules mustn't they must changes to mustn't t silent mustn't so these were the positive sentences let us look at negative sentences and learn and take some cues out of this please see to it that the sentences are negative in construction which are changed into positive as question tag here as far as question tags are considered concerned the tags are positive i am not in the choir am i Susan isn't the best painter is is she We aren't relatives are we Manish's wife was not planning to cook was she The players were not boarding the flight were they The mentees have not turned up have they Matthew has not been working out rigorously has she has he beg your pardon the ministers had not addressed the citizens had they the father that is my father won't make it to the wedding will he won't is will not so will he is the answer they wouldn't believe me would they 
I cannot eat ice cream in the winter. Can I? Jason couldn't play well due to injury. Could he? I shall not allow kids to go out due to COVID-19. Shall I? So these are the words that are in negative sense. Uh, hence, the question tags are to be found in positive. He shouldn't question the system, should he? That might not be a bad idea, might it? They don't speak Tamil, do they? Ritu doesn't bake cakes, does she? Virat didn't play well today, did he? Ignorance mustn't be a hurdle, must it? So these are the negative sentences that are changed into interrogative sentences in, with the help of question tags. Please make note students, question tags are more of a confirmation sentences. Ignorance mustn't be a hurdle. The sentence is uttered and just to confirm with the sentence, question tags are used. Please take note of assignment. Assignment is very simple. Frame interrogative sentences using the following WH words. Use these WH words and frame interrogative sentences. Who, whom, whose, why, what, when, which, where, how many, how long, how far, how much, how often, how old. So these are the, these are the WH words, you can include how also, these are the WH words, use them in order to make interrogative sentences. So the assignment is not as big as it used to be, it's a very simple assignment. Fourteen to fifteen words you have, please use them in your sentences. So hardly fifteen sentence, uh, hardly fifteen sentences is what you need to write as in, in your assignment this class. So get this done and submit it at the earliest. Please go through both the parts of framing questions so that. You won't have any confusion as far as question framing questions is concerned. And uh, if you practice well, if you perfect this particular content, you will be. It will be very easy for you to score well in the examination because in dialogue writing, in uh, the last part of uh, that is penultimate question of the question paper annual examination question paper you have pronouns in which these words come handy so i hope you will go through these particular contents and uh, practice well i shall end the class in this hope Thank you very much for your patient listening, dear students. Have a good day. Stay safe.